Hi right, guys, how you doing? You alright? So, in this video, I'm going to share with you some visions and a dream that I received recently that I 100% believe came from our Lord. You've got to pray about it for yourself, alright? I also want to share my, my feelings, my heart, my thoughts on the subject of why are Christians not preparing, alright? And, you know, what I've been doing, like, recently, is I've been looking at people, like, as in them preparing or not. And I've got really disheartened in this. And I, I, I honestly got to a point where I just gave up. Just, like, honestly, like, recently, I just completely gave up. I was like, there is no point. Because I, I genuinely feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. Like, I feel like... The messages that I believe that I'm receiving and I'm sharing with you is falling on deaf ears. It's not going in. Um, and like, yeah, I, I, I genuinely hit a point where I was like, that's it. I, I'm not doing this anymore. You know, I felt like it was just a complete and utter waste of time, you know. But at the same time, really disheartening, like breaking heart level, like staring at the floor level, like proper emotional pain, you know. <clears throat> and and here's the thing that I don't get, right? You are a Chris, Christian watching this, or, or you most likely a Christian watching this, right? I'm a Christian, right? Us Christians, we want to hear from our Lord. If our Lord shares a nice word with you for your life, you want to hear that, don't you? Right? So So... Why is it, generally, with all of my heart, that when our Lord warns us of what is coming, that you don't listen to that? Why is that? Because we are Christians and we want to hear from our Lord. If our Lord is warning you of what is coming and how to prepare for that don't you think it would be in our best interest to listen and to prepare now i'm telling you 100% with all of my heart all right that the dreams and the visions that i receive are coming from our lord all right and these christian communities are from our lord for you for us all right and, and yes, we have free will. That means that you can choose to listen or you don't have to listen. But I'm telling you, it is within your best interest that you do listen. And it's in your best interest that you do prepare. All right? Because listen, these dreams and these visions are coming from our Lord. Our Lord, the creator of everything and our lord sees the beginning from the end all right and our lord loves us and our lord is warning us of what is to come the reason for the warning is so that you can prepare all right if you do not prepare you're going to find yourself in a very bad way and you will only have yourself to blame. You know, the call of the watchman, the blood, you know, as a watchman, I am warning you. If you do not heed the warning, it will be your blood on your own head. OK, this is serious, guys. Now You need to pray about everything that I'm saying. And I, I worry about how I say things and what I say. All right. But you... You need to pray about this. We are running out of time. Drastically. We do not have a lot of time. You need to get ready. Noah. Our Lord said to us in 2021 that Noah is our example. I read it into the survival guides. 
not in this one, but it's in the other ones, right? <clears throat> Noah built the ark before the flood came. He did not build the ark when the flood came. He built it before the flood, all right? We need to prepare now before the destruction comes. Not when it comes. We need to prepare now. Like now, guys. Now. Not decades off in the future. Now. We are running out of time. Now, like I say, I got to a point recently where I was like 100%, I give up. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. No one's listening. There is no one preparing in the communities or maybe one or two people, like, you know, not a lot of activity. Uh, I don't see anyone preparing anywhere. Do, do you even, do you even have a clue what is coming? If you knew, you'd be on it, man. You, you would be on it. Do you think I'm shouting for the fun of it? Do you, you know, what, what is, like, what is the thinking here? Like, man, I'm telling you, right? I am a normal Christian like you, right? I pray and I receive dreams and visions from our Lord of what is coming, all right? To warn you. Don't just sit there and do nothing. It will be your blood on your own head, man. I'm telling you. You, a Christian. We are, us, all of us. The destruction is going to affect us directly. Mark my words, all right? Me, you, the destruction will affect you. You need to be prepared. You need to be ready. And there is a way out of it. You can avoid the destruction by putting a plan in place. These Christian communities going to a safe location with a community of Christians. You do not have to face this destruction like a non-Christian who was not prepared for it. Do you understand? You do not have to face it or go through it. You could be with a community of Christians in a safe location with a camp set up, looking after each other, supporting each other through it. All that you need to do is come together with other Christians in your region now and form a community, a part of the Christian communities. All right. Come together, prepare a bug out bag, survival gear, waterproof, warm, protective clothing, all right, uh, snares, animal traps, fishing lines, some form of shelter. It's easy. It won't take you long to do this. You can go from spending very little to thousands. It all depends on you, your health, your finances, your family situation. But what you do need to have is a plan. Do you understand? And I have to talk to you like this because it's like it's not, it's not going in any other way, is it? You know? Put a plan in place. Work together with Christ other Christians. Have a safe location to go to. When the destruction comes, mark my words, in which it will. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. But when it comes, you will have a plan in place with your community and you flee to your safe location. Right? It's there waiting, ready. Me, I have a van. For the survival gear, I have my survival guides, right? I have my plan written up. It's all waiting. In the meantime, I continue my life as normal. I go to work, I do my hobbies, I play the Xbox. I, I go, for, you know, you know what I mean? I go for a walk, whatever. I live my life. But when it comes, grab my survival gear, grab my books in the van, off to the safe location. When that tsunami comes through, I will be safe. You need to be in the same position. All right? And when you're there, you pray all things through, even as you go. You pray all things through anyway, every day. Do you know what I mean? All right? This is very serious, mate. All right? <coughs> Join the communities in the description. <coughs> Sorry. Share this video with other Christians. All right? We do not have a lot of time. We are running out of time. I do not want destruction to come upon you and you find yourself in the midst of it completely screwed because you did it to yourself. You didn't prepare. You didn't take it seriously. No, you have got to get ready now. Hear these words. Take it in. Prepare now. We are running out of time for your own sake. 
You're not doing this for me. You're doing this for yourself. You're doing this for your loved ones. Like when you plan to go camping. If you, if you ever go camping or on holiday, you know, you plan it. You get your tent sorted out, you get your bits and pieces, like your cooker and all those little bits and pieces and you put it to the side and you wait until the camping trip comes and when it comes, you go off your camping gear, right? I throw our Lord's presence upon me right now as I'm speaking this to you in this video, right? Pray about what I'm saying. It's exactly the same like going camping. Have all your gear ready to go. Instead of going to a campsite, you're going to a safe location and that's what you do. And you share your, your thoughts and your planning with other Christians. And they do exactly the same as you. All right? Easy. It's really easy. I've done all the work for you in these books, like, you know. And this is not a blimmin' video to try and make money selling books. No. These communities are around for about six years before these came along. This is a guideline to help you. All right? This is why I wrote this. To save the colossal amount of work for you. You don't have to spend hours and hours trying to research all this stuff. I've done it for you. In fact, I want to show you something, right? This book here, do you remember this one? Right? This, this was selling. People were buying this all the time when this one came along. This one replaces that one, all right? Yet, this is cheaper than this one. Essential Survival School. If you ain't gonna get any of the other, other books, make sure you get Essential Survival Skills. All the way through, stacked with Survival Skills. Essential Survival Skills. Bigger, cheaper than this one. All right, okay, you'll have something. This is something. This is better than nothing. Destruction comes upon you. You know how to make fire, you know how to make shelter, how to get shelter, you know how to filtrate water. You know how to survive. I'll read it to you. Essential survival skills covers shelter, fire, water, food, sleep, first aid, first aid, weather and navigation, winter survival, surviving situations, tips and tricks, how to plan to remember. All right, that there, all you need, real life survival. All right, essential survival skills. In the description, click on Dan Shelley Books, scroll through to, in the featured, essential survival skills. All right, it's something, man. But of course, you don't have to get it. It's completely optional. But for twelve ninety nine, all your skills covered. I've done it. I've done it all for you. All right. Now look, I'm going to share my visions that I've received recently and dreams. Now please pray about everything that I've said in this video. All right. If I've quoted any Bible verses from my memory, please look it up exactly as it is. All right. Okay. Uh, let's get on to these visions. The other day. My friend messaged me in America and she had a bad dream and she asked me to pray for a word for her, right? Now, I, I said, yes, okay, no problem. So I shut my eyes and I prayed for her and I saw a vision of a wave, like seawater, a wave, a big wave. And I opened my eyes again and I shut my eyes again and prayed for another word for her. And again, I saw a vision of a wave. And I opened my eyes and I shut my eyes and I prayed for a word for her. I was asking our Lord for a word for her. And then I saw a huge tsunami heading directly for California, America. All right? Saw it going in fast. It was like I was above the wave and I was traveling with it as it was going into California. Tsunami. All right? I then opened my eyes and then I realized and remembered that my friend lives in California. I shared it with her. I said, I've seen a wave. I've seen a wave, I've seen a tsunami heading in towards California. She lives in California. I, I, I forgot it at the point that I saw the vision, but I remembered immediately afterwards. I shared it with her. I, I then continued to pray for her and I received some personal words for her that I shared with her. All right? Tsunami, California. There is a tsunami heading into California. This is coming. All right? Vision one, that is. Um... <clears throat> I did a video on here like last week, but I removed it, all right? Uh, saying that Christians would rather believe a lie. Do you remember that? You might have seen the title come up for it, all right? <clears throat> as I was praying, so as you know, in these videos, I say to you, pray about what I'm saying and wear up with our Lord's word for yourself, don't I, right? But I also pray about videos before I put them on for a confirmation, because like I say, I worry about what I say and how I say it, all right? And... As I was praying at the end of that video for a confirmation, I shut my eyes and I saw an asteroid. I saw the earth, the earth looked really beautiful and I saw this asteroid traveling in incredibly fast towards the earth. And 
from my viewpoint, as I saw the asteroid, the Earth was getting bigger and bigger as like I was following this asteroid going into the Earth, right? I was praying for confirmation over the video, and that's what I saw. Um, I then opened my eyes, and I shut my eyes again, and I said, uh, I said, Lord, is this vision from you? And I saw another view of the same, what I believe to be the same asteroid, heading towards the Earth, and I received two shivers through me, all right? Confirmation. That vision was from our Lord. Okay, so are you hearing this? Tsunami heading into California. There is an asteroid that is going to hit the Earth. I saw two visions of the same asteroid and got shivers through me. Do you understand? All right. Um, and then when we talk about Christians believing a lie, have a look at this picture. Now, recently... I was praying and I was saying like, I was saying like, Lord, I don't understand why Christians aren't preparing. Why are they not getting ready? You know, I, I just don't understand it. And then I, I believe I received, they would rather believe a lie. And I saw a vision of a YouTube channel and I saw hundreds of thousands of hundreds of thousands of Christians watching that channel listening to what they wanted to hear, all right? They would rather believe a lie. That's why there's people aren't preparing. That's what I believe I received. Makes me want to throw up, it hurts my heart bad. Um, and then, like, you know how I said at the beginning of this video, I just, like, I really did, honestly, and like, but please pray about everything that I'm saying, very important. All right, we got to test what we hear, test the spirits. But like, you know, but I believe, I believe through and through and through that came from our Lord. But like I say, always pray about everything that I share with you. All right, it's biblical. All right, pray about it. Um, like I say, I hit this point where I was like, I give up. Like I'd really, really given up. I was like, I'm not going to do any more survival videos. I'm not going to do any more videos on YouTube. I'm not going to do anything else with the communities. That's it. I'm done. I hang up my boots, I walk off into the distance, I'm done mate, you know, that's where I was at. And then I received a dream the other night. And I know this dream came from our Lord. In the dream, I saw a uh, field, like a safe location. It was dark, darkness. I don't know if this is uh, like dark at night or like end time darkness, but uh, I think it was dark, right? I, I saw uh, hundreds of people there. Um, and I walked up to these people and I knew that they were part of a community. They were a Christian community together. Um, they were in this like corner setting up like a camp. And I said to them, the way that you're doing that is wrong. Uh, you know, you've got to be facing out to protect yourselves within the camp sort of thing. You know, like in the army, you have sentry duties, you have a harbour area. So you have like, you'll, you probably might know this. You'll have like, a, say, a triangle harbour area. You'll have a sentry here, sentry here, sentry here, right? And they've got an arc of view and they can look out for the enemy, right? Well, in this corner of the field, they had bushes like, 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 I don't know how to explain it, like round in an arc form, but this bit was exposed out to a field. Now, what they should have done is had some people facing that direction into the field to protect the harbour area in which they were setting up camp. But they, they didn't do that, right? And... I was trying to say to them, what you're doing is wrong, you you know, and I was trying to tell them for their own sake, it's their own safety here, you know, I was trying to say, you know, set it up like so, anyway, they were like talking amongst themselves saying like, well, I don't know what to do, we don't know how to do this, and some people were starting to try and set up a camp and some weren't, and a, and a few, like, they, uh, some people turned around to me and said, well, who are you, why should we listen to you, you know, and I thought in my dream, the whole reason your community is here is because I, I, I shared with you to set up the community, but you're not going to listen to me as in how to keep yourself safe sort of thing. You know, that's not any pride or ego thing or anything like that. But it was like, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying like I, I helped you with the community in the first place, but it's not about me. You know, this came from our, this comes from our Lord, not from me. Right. Um, I was, you know, their community was there because I tried to help them to put it there, but they weren't listening to me in the way that um, 
they would be the most safest. That there was no pride, there was no arrogance, there was no look at me. It's not like, oh, do what I say, do what I tell you to do. No, it's purely like you're in the field, you're setting up camp, yet the direction that the enemy, wild predators, any sort of destructive threat coming at you, you are not facing it or protecting your camp. You need to do it this way to be the most safest. What I believe that I got from that dream is if I give up on the Christian communities, YouTube and, and warning you that, um, you know, people aren't going to know what to do. You know, they're, they're not going to know how to be the most safest, you know, and how to look after each other sort of thing. Um, when I, I have the uh, information and the knowledge that would be able to help you help those people and so I like realized and I've been like on this journey recently where it's um it's not a case of looking at you and seeing what you're doing and how you're preparing or not preparing this destruction is coming whether you like it or not whether you're ready for it or not it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming I need to put these survival videos out, these warning videos, tell you about the Christian communities and get you ready because it's what I'm meant to be doing. Our Lord's will be done. Our Lord's kingdom come. Our Lord is returning for us soon. You need to get ready. I do not understand where your thinking is at. Or why you are not receiving this message. There are asteroids coming. There are tsunamis coming. There is destruction of every single kind that you can think of coming. Why are you not preparing? Why? Like seriously man. Like. I honestly just like. I wish I could just come into your home sit down with you with a cup of tea and really talk to you and say look you've got you've got to understand this if you do not prepare you're going to find yourself in serious serious trouble these communities are set up worldwide man there are communities in most countries around the world like america has like 15 or 16 safe locations and communities tied to them sitting there waiting you know the uk has a couple like you know um, Australia, I think, has one or two. Canada has a couple. There, there are communities, like right now, active, real communities, safe locations, sitting there, waiting. And all the, all the books for the communities are done. They're complete. Complete walkthrough telling you what to do. You know, it's not like you even get onto a community and don't even have a clue what to do. The books tell you. It's done. Made them as cheap as possible for you. You know, all the information, everything that you need to know is available to you right now. And unbelievable destruction is coming. We're running out of time. What is going on? You need to prepare. This is not a game. This is not a joke. I will do everything that I possibly can to help you. I've already done everything that I possibly can, but there's more. I will do everything that I possibly can. Do not find yourself in destruction when you don't need to be. Like, and, and like, are you actually hearing this? You hearing this? Destruction is coming. It will affect you directly. It will affect me directly. But you do not have to be a part of it or in it. You can avoid it. Our Lord has given us the safe locations and Christian communities. All right? It's a way out from it. You can actually avoid it by putting a plan in place now. Talking with a community. Having a safe location. You know, you can actually avoid it. When it comes. Because the tsunamis are coming. The asteroids are coming. The destruction is coming. The fires. The earthquakes. Unbelievable destruction. Do you understand? If you understand. Action speaks louder than words. Think about your families. And your loved ones. Even as I'm sitting here. I see visions of destruction. It's coming. It's going to affect you directly. This is the truth. Join the Christian communities in the description. Work together with other Christians. Put a plan in place. 
as an absolute bare minimum, get yourself essential survival skills. It's only twelve ninety nine. Okay, fluctuates up and down a little bit in different currencies, but it's twelve ninety nine. All right, it's got all the survival skills that you need in there, man. Real life survival situation happens, you'll know what to do with that. All right, join your community, join the closest one to you. Hurts my heart, mate. It hurts. The idea of being a part of our safe locations with our Christian community is that we survive together there, waiting on our Lord's soon return. All right, so. Matthew 24, read Matthew 24. We are going to go through tribulation, all right? There are going to be destructive events, but you can avoid the destructive events by fleeing to your safe location with your Christian community, surviving together, waiting on our Lord's soon return, all right? That is the purpose of these Christian communities, surviving through hard times together, looking after each other, loving each other, and supporting each other, all right? Please pray about this. Right now, look, seriously, every single word that I have spoken on this video, pray about it for yourself. Weigh it up with our Lord's word. Any scriptures that I've quoted, if I have, are from my memory. You must read them exactly as they are for yourself. And again, pray about everything that I've said in this video. The links are in the description. Join the Christian communities. As a bare minimum, get yourself essential survival skills. Join the closest community to you on the main Christian community page. There's a welcome video. Watch that. It shows you how to join it and what to do. And start working together. Start putting plans in place. Don't mess about. We're running out of time. We don't know when the next disaster will be. All right? Please pray about this and get ready. I'm out of time on this video, so I've got to shoot. Love you guys. Please prepare. Please. Be safe. I'll catch you again soon.